Yo boys, what is good? Today we're doing another video on Destiny 2 and what you should expect from the PC release which is due next month, two months after the original release of Destiny 2 on PS4 and Xbox One. Okay, so one thing that I am expecting to look fantastic on PC is the textures and some of the smoke particles. Now this may not be a big thing for those of you who've played console but for those of you who've played PC games and you've come from playing a console game to PC and you've seen how bad some of the textures look you're gonna be excited for this um I've looked some of the PS4 and Xbox One's gameplay and looking at some of the smoke particles it looks like Bungie fired the fucking people who worked on Halo the people who did the design for the textures and the particles and just hired some goddamn fucking two-year-old to draw this shit I mean Looking at some of the PS4 beta and the Xbox One actual raw gameplay, they look fucking awful. Angry Joe highlighted this in his Destiny 2 Angry Review, and that's one thing we won't have to worry about on PC. The beta looked amazing and ran amazing, so they've had two months to perfect it from the beta, and it should run and look fucking fantastic. Now, I know this next point may come across as a bit cunty to console players, but 60 frames per second now. <laughs> This is a huge thing for PC players, especially since we didn't even get to play Destiny 1. If you didn't have a console and you want to play it on PC, that's it. Bungie put a middle two fingers up to you and you and you couldn't play Destiny. And it was a good game with tons of faults. They seem to have addressed lots of those and made Destiny 2 more of the same, but better. Similar to what Borderlands 1 and 2 were. They both got rave reviews. Now I'm not saying Destiny 2 is going to be as good as Borderlands 2. Hopefully, I've, I've not had my ch I've not had my chance to put tons of hours into the game as of yet. Just an hour gameplay on PS4 and the about five or six hours on the Destiny 2 PC bit, which ran at glorious 60 frames per second. Now console players don't take that the wrong way, but once you've played 60 frames per second, you ain't ever going to go back. My third reason: field of view. Now, after watching Angry Joe's Destiny 2 review. He said he's never ever been bothered by field of view ever in a video game, but Destiny 2 was hard on his eyes. Now, I experienced this on the first one where, if you don't know what field of view is, you can change the viewing angles of how close you are and how big the UI is. On consoles, they completely remove this option, but on PC, customization is basically endless. Uh, resolution, you can crank it out 1440p, 1080p, 720p, 4K. On consoles, you don't get this fucking choice. Now the Xbox One can um, uh, max 1080p for 30 frames per second, but most of the time it's running at 720p upscaled, which just doesn't look as good. If you put that next to a PC version, it will look like utter shit, which is another reason that I'm excited for playing it on the PC. Now I played the original one on PS4 and it looked amazing, so I can't wait to see how good it looks on PC uncapped at its true fucking potential so one of the main reasons for me um, why I've not purchased it on my PS4 is all the bugs now I know Bungie's games are usually very soundly polished but any bugs that do currently exist will 100% be fixed upon the PC launch date which is seven weeks after the console launch date so if you've waited um, you do want a console, but you wanted it on PC. You're better off just waiting. Don't try and... They're trying to get money off you twice, Bungie. By thinking, oh, yeah, seven, seven weeks. Some of these silly console will buy it twice. Once on console and once on PC. And Angry Joe said this again in his video. Don't just wait for PC launch date. All the bugs should be fixed. If they're not, then I don't know what the fuck Bungie are playing at. Now, my final reason. This isn't a hugely long video. I just wanted to highlight the points. Why I think it's better to wait for Destiny on PC and what to expect. And my final point is keyboard and mouse. If you're wanting to be a competitive player or get into playing Destiny 2, like fucking hardcore shit like in the Crucible, you're 100% better off on PC. If you own a PC or if you have enough money for a PC, keyboard and mouse is just superior in PvP content. Uh, go from playing an Xbox and then spend a couple of weeks getting used to a keyboard and mouse and see which one you're more accurate on. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be a PC, which is why competitive events are always played on a PC. Now, the bottom line of this video is play whatever platform your friends are playing. You want to be with your friends. This game is meant to be a co-op experience. I'm not by any means telling anyone to 
pick it on PC or PS4 or Xbox One. Um, most of my friends are playing on PC, hence why I'm getting it on PC. I'm just highlighting some of the additional benefits you're going to have when you purchase the game on PC. But purchase the game, enjoy the game, have fun. That is what gaming is all about, just fucking having fun. Fuck the platform argument bullshit. Buy it on whatever platform you want, have fun. But if you are getting it on PC, this is the shit you should be looking out for. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Just a quick little short one with YouTube's demonetization bullshit. We'll see if this one gets demonetized. Most likely it will because I just said bullshit. But thank you all for watching this far. If you did enjoy though, smash that thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I will see you all tomorrow. Push the gas, get them all fucking nose me. She ain't never met a young and do it like me. She got a man, but she said she really liked me.